Welcome back. I'm Vader Van Odin. And I am Odin. <laughs> it's very serious tonight. Yes. Why? Very. Why so serious? Because you've got so much candy. You've got so much candy. That's right. Uh, we are back with our Let's Chat. Not play! Exactly. And we are diving into our candy testing while we chat. But first off, I bought this fortune cookie. It is a garden fortune cookie. So I thought we would be interesting to see what our fortune is today. Oh, oh. You're gonna chew down on half of mine. Your blessing is no is no more than being safe and sound for the whole lifetime. That's a pretty good fortune. I'm gonna be safe and sound for my whole lifetime. Thanks for that, fortune cookie. Mm. Look at you crunching away. People don't want to hear you crunching. <laughs> I'll save that for later. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna keep that fortune. That's really nice. And okay, my my folks, the olds, have just got back from America. America. And yes. we have some more American candy. We're gonna test. This Warheads. is Warheads Chewy Cubes. So at least they got them cubes in the name because they are very squarish. We haven't tried them yet. What one? Blue or orange? Blue. Blue. Orange. Ready? On three. One, two, three. I once had um not sour at all. No, I once had something that was the same brand of all his. This guy's a softy. He's like soured up. He's all puckered up, like it's lemon. But these aren't sour. He probably had that. He probably ate the entire ca ca um thing. That's probably kind of sour. Well, they, well, they wouldn't. Maybe that's why his cheeks are chubby. Chewy cubes. Don't pick your teeth on the camera. <laughs> are the new fun shape in sour candy. With a mildly sour coating that's just right and a sweet chewy center that's out, out of sight. You won't be able to stop at just one. Mm, it was good. I liked it. But I prefer the um, Haribo sour gummy bears. The little pear ones that hold hands. I would prefer, um, like, the only other weird thing I had was like this little container which was, had like two types of drops. Oh yeah, oh that's the same brand, eh? Yeah. Oh yeah, we got it at Armageddon from the the, yeah. the foreign candy those, store. Those were sour. Yeah. I love those. Oh, they were so good. All right, one more oh, each. Yeah. And we'll move on. I like ten more. Um, I had who had I had orange last time. You came with the pink. I like ten more. Yeah, we'll have some more later, and I'll bring. So good. We've got some more, but we'll move on. It's been ages. Mm -hmm. What we do? What I can't remember what we've done since the last time we recorded. Well, I don't think you finished. I D think Dark Souls Remastered came out, and we've been, we've been doing a Let's Play series called Boar and the Thief. Odin's the boar. I am the giant boar. And I am the thief, mm -hmm. rocking uh, Uchi Katana. Uchi Katana. Well, that's not how you say it. Uh, what else have we done? Where what games? Have, what games have you been playing? Anything new? Starve together. Oh, yeah, no. but it's not a new game though. I but you do like that game, don't you? Yeah, it's like I played it. Don't starve together alone. But don't starve together alone. Yeah, because I'm like preparing for when I play, and then you um, die, and you have to start a game. No, like I'm starting to prepare, and I I've gotten like three worlds that have had three chests around them. Oh, good work. And um, like I'm I just like I preparing. <laughs> I'm preparing. And you, ne and you never play! We've been busy! Things have been crazy, that's why we haven't recorded this in like weeks and weeks. Mm -hmm. You've been going old school actually, because you've gone back and played, um, we've been playing Spelunky again. Oh we got, yeah! We've got three caves or two, two caves? We got into the last cave. We've got, so what caves have we got? We've got the, the Normal? jungle one, so we've the got ice the, one. And we've got ov obviously the rocky one. And then we've made it to the... Egyptian one, but I don't think we've gotten we've gotten through like one or two levels in the Egyptian one. Yeah. Uh, so Splunky again. What have I played that's different? I've been playing a game called Wasteland Two. I think it's called. You also finished God of War. Yes. Have we talked about God of War on this? I can't. We must have. Boy, know. give me some candy. <laughs> 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 These things look super uh, super weird. They're really good. They're called Although, Sugar Babies. Oh, okay. I'll just open them. I have actually tried these already. I cheated. 
Yeah, I cheated too. <gasps> and like literally, it's brown sugar in a candy shape. I'm just what that's what candy is. <laughs> mm. Oh, for those who don't know, our American friends, we call most candy lollies. We know what candy is, but lollies is what we'd call. Like if you asked for something, what would you say? I want some lollies. Some lollies, exactly. <laughs> well, in America, I think you'd go, you'd ask for candy. So yeah, man, these are just uh, sticky in the teeth. It's a pretty, yeah. they are tasty. It's like yeah. a sugar caramel flavor. It's stuck in your teeth. It's stuck in my head. Don't, that don't gross. <laughs> Boy, God of War is awesome. I really, really like it. Oh, grab, grab my pop vinyls. Can I read them? I can't even see them. I got these. <laughs> I've got Kratos and Atreus, and the cool thing about the double pack is that Kratos comes with uh, like the Niflheim armor, I think? Yeah, it's like the gold armor, uh, so it, it, it's a little bit cooler than the, the standard one, which is just like the standard Kratos leather armor. Um, the only thing I don't like I think about- think Boy is the same. The only thing that I don't boy, like about- Atreus. The only thing that I don't like about this game is because I'm the bad guy. Yeah, Odin is like, they always talk about how bad Odin is, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> So God of War is lots of fun, it's violent, but it's not, it's not that bad. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, yeah, there are some bad points. Yes. So you can't play it. Yeah. But it looks so good, the world, and the uh, gameplay, put your tongue away. Yeah. The game is amazing, the gameplay, it's really fun. Mm. Um, what else? I was telling, you interrupted. I was telling you about Wasteland, I want to tell you the story about that. Because yes. it's a little violent, it's, it's like a real, it looks kind of old school. It's like an old 90s game that I used to play. It, it's like a strategy turn-based RPG, but then you can still run around like the big map. It's like reminds me of um, oh, what games? Uh, Baldur's Gate. You never played. You don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, no, I don't know what you're about. but you make a squad and you can just pre-populate it with a computer-generated squad to start the game, or you can make your own. So it's four players, four characters, and so I was like, I'm gonna make our little family. So, I made myself as the captain, my wife, uh, I made Odin, he's going to be the big muscle, he's got shotguns and heavy weapons. Wait, I've got a question, what is this one? Because I want to play On it. On Xbox. I'll show you it later. It I want to play, little... play it now. We can't, we're talking. After. It's let's chat, not play it, you can't I play know, it. <laughs> I know, I meant I'll later. show you it, it's probably a little violent, so I shouldn't tell people I'll show you it. But it's, it's all real small little figures, so it's not that big a deal. Um, just interrupt me. So my Odin's gonna be the muscle. He's gonna be the muscle. Muscle. Uh, our... I'm very chubby. Look. You're so skinny. <laughs> Ridiculously skinny. <laughs> but in the game, because you can't do kids, and so you're you're a, you're. I made you as 18. You're 18 year old. I'm an 18 year old. So 10 years Whoa. from now, the world's gonna be in an post-apocalyptic nuclear war war zone. Nuclear war. And my name, my name. Would you let me finish telling you about the squad? <laughs> no. And Arya. I put her 16 years old, that's the like, youngest you can be. And she is our ruthless assassin, Arya. Because <laughs> it's turn base, but it's like really. I think I made a mistake and I didn't live. Because you can all speak out your characters, lots of stats, lots of perks, lots of different abilities. I don't think I chose them very well because I, I, I had no idea what I was doing, so I kind of just buffed my way through. But Arya should have done lazy. She's like the ninja assassin. <laughs> lazy. Um. But yeah, so what I, I think she's our healer as well. She had like a submachine gun as her primary weapon. Submachine gun. Yeah. Anyway, we all kept missing. Like all the other, all us, the rest of us players, like our characters kept missing. And then Arya, Arya's turn, and she's just like, <laughs> and just gunned the people down. And she killed out of our first match, like because you you walk around and then you get into fights, and it then it goes turn by turn by turn. And the first match there was three enemies, and she killed all three by herself. <laughs> So it's a little bit of a worry <laughs> that Arya, in the RPG waste, Wasteland world, 2 Director's Cut world, Arya is a deadly killer. We need to have a test. What? We don't want to see if she's really like that. <laughs> Are we yeah, worried? We need to have a test. Nuclear bomb! Incoming! Map! Map! We do not want a nuclear bomb, <laughs> that's for sure. The, don't even joke. Okay, but that's Wasteland 2. Uh, what, are, what are the new games you've been playing? I'm sure we've had... We, what are, scanning, scanning, scanning. Yeah, I don't remember. Scanning, we bought. Scanning, oh, I guess we can talk about Mario scanning. Tennis. Ding, ding, ding. 
Yeah. Mario Tennis. We bought Mario Tennis last week. I really like the multiplayer. It's really fun playing with mm. friends. I played it with a friend the other day. Odin, I play with Odin, and he's getting the hang of it. Yes. I'm way better than him, though. It's probably the only game I beat him in, <laughs> actually. That, so, oh. you beat me in uh, Dragon, Dragon Ball, Ball Z. Z. You beat me... I can't remember the games. Most other games. Yeah. Brohalla. Knights, Knight yeah. Squad. Yeah. Squad Knight. Knight Savior! And, so yeah, so it's about time I beat you in something. Oh yeah, we need to talk about Knight Squad. Oh, Knight Squad. Squad night, night squad. Yeah, you know, we're to my Mario Tennis. Okay. Stop getting sidetracked. <laughs> and, but the one player, I have real issues with Odin. Like, it's really cool, and it's at its best when it's like a straight up one-on-one -on -one match against some, some NPCs as you progress. Oh, by the way, just to explain, this, this game is you, one player, adventure mode, is Yu-Gi-Oh meets Tennis meets Mario. So instead of dueling card, you know, you've seen Yu-Gi-Oh. We're dueling with tennis. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah, yeah, I've seen Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, anyway, back to, back to what I was saying. Mm. But the problem is a lot of the maps aren't just straight tennis courts, which is fun at times, but it feels like it's been really cheap. I was playing one of the, the bloopers, the you know, little white squids that get you in when you play Mario Kart and you get ink on your screen. The bloopers, the little squid guys. Yeah. I was fighting one of them, not fighting, playing tennis against one of them, and there was, a, was on a ship, and there's a mast in the middle, and any time I was beating him, he would just get three shots and hit the mast and reflect it, and I could never get to the ball, because it would like I would, it looked like it's coming this way, and I'd be waiting for it, and it hit the mast and go the other way, and I could never get to it, and it just seemed like they were favouring. I ended up, I couldn't beat him by playing tennis. I had to use the knockout function and just aim all my super shots at him and broke his tennis racket. <laughs> so it's cool that's in the game, so I guess that's the point, that some of the fights might be. The bosses are pretty cool. Is there are bosses? Yeah. The Ooh. bosses generally are quite fun. Uh, a little frustrating and take a few times to lose to learn their patterns. Are the bosses like giant guys who are like yep. all round, like, like Bowser all round? No, the, I've, what I fought, I fought like a mirror ghost person. <gasps> exactly. And basically, you've got to wear their hit points down and then do a super shot when they're weak to take out one of their hearts. And they've got three hearts. And they do super, super shots at you all the time. Um, and they have gimmicks like um, the one I did last night was an ice guy. Like it was two ice hands, like giant ice hands. And so he would. Um, one of the hands would come and slam on you, which is just annoying. Uh, but yeah, it, it would, in general, it plays quite well, but it's best in multiplayer. Um, I have issues with it in single player. I think it's a little too hard. But yeah. Any thoughts? I really like that game. You like it with playing against people? I like it playing against people. Who's your favourite character? Boo! <laughs> Boo. He likes the ghost, he likes being tricky with the big curve shot. Mine in multiplayer is Rosalina, who's also tricky. I kind of like Rosalina. Because like, I was playing with Aria and she, and like we started around and she was like, I want to change because she was Ros Rosalina and I was Boo. And she went to go, go Boo, so I went to go Ro Rosalina. Mm -hmm. and, like, I have realised that she got like a better curve. She curves it really well. She she yeah, she has a she mega curve on her her hits, super tricky. But anyway, what else have you been playing? You must have been playing some. Have you got any other stories to tell us, Odin? Like, what have you been up to? Any movies you've seen? We didn't prepare well beforehand, did we? No. Ooh. There's been a, it's the, what it is. It's the pre E three lull. Like games don't seem to come out before E three. E three is a big gaming conference that happened a couple of weeks ago, which I've been wanting to. We're going to talk about today. Once we get onto it, yeah. but yeah, I, we haven't picked up anything new recently. Mm -hmm. um, I played some Gears of War. It's a shooty shoot bang bang game. Nothing that special. Oh yeah, I've seen you playing that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've yeah. Um, I'll probably try one of these now. Chewy lemonade. Le these are chewy lemon heads, which is funny because they're not actually lemon flavored. Yeah. Yeah, there is a lemon flavor. Pick your, pick your colour. You pick. Ha, <laughs> you dropped it. Okay, I've got a lemon. Mm. And a purple. I'll just put it on. Alright, these. 
Mm, they're really good. Chewy lemon are really good. Mm -hmm. Um. Are you going to try that, um, thing? What thing? Uh, the fortune teller cookie. The fortune teller? <laughs> fortune cookie. Yeah, I'll eat after. It's too it's crunchy. It's really yummy. I know, I'll eat it after. It's too crunchy. Okay, what we're going to do now, Odin, I'm going to show you E3. There are a lot of games announced. So we're going to miss a bunch of them. You can tell us in the comments below which ones you think we should have talked about. I'm going to show ones that are more appropriate to you. And ones that you might be interested in. And I want you to tell me what you think of them. Uh. Okay, are you ready? Uh, my mouse is upside down, so it's not working. Uh. There it is. <laughs> you were like, you probably need eagle okay. eyes. You ready? Super Mario Party, what do you think about it? Amazing. What, do you, what, what kind of game do you think it is? I think it's a family game. That, that's a good way to put it. It is. It's a team competition game. What it is actually, it's like a board game. So you saw them running around on Digital a... Digital board game. Exactly. And, and when you land on certain things, you go into mini games, like you saw them, there was a fishing one, there was a mini, the mini bike riding one looked hilarious. <laughs> um, exactly. Uh, there's lots of these mini games, and you compete to get points to, to, to be the winner. But you're, you're going along a board. So that's, you saw Mario in the middle of that trailer, he threw a big dice up. So you roll the dice, and so you move, and just like any other board game, you land on certain squares and activate certain... Uh, functions and some of those are mini games or competitions sometimes you go head to head against one person it's a lot of fun with people and so I think the family would have a lot of fun playing that together well probably just need one co and another console well you can you can do that multi console but it will also be designed so you can play it without two consoles oh it would be cool with two Oh well, that, that feature where you can put them at the screens together and have like a bigger map is pretty darn cool Imagine like having like ten consoles. What? I don't think they'll be that fancy. I think it's going to be two at the most. <laughs> You're just being too fancy. But yeah, it looks super fun. So that's another one we want to get, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Next one. I think it will replace our Monster Hunter. We can get it, and because you, you can co-op, and you get what they call Javelins, those robot suits they had on. They're called yeah. they call them Javelins. And you have different classes or types. You have a big, giant, strong one that's like real, like does heavy damage, and but moves slower probably. Then you got faster, like you saw that green dude. He was like all nin, like faster ninja and saved the girl. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we can I mean you can go adventuring together and co-op. Yeah. Does it sound like fun? Yeah. That comes out next year. I'm pretty Thanks. excited. Yeah. I, think it look, I think it looks fun. And because I have a built-in co-op buddy, these games appeal to me I more. Built-in. Built-in. <laughs> you are. Um, usually these co-op games don't, um, online multiplayer games don't tickle my fancy. You've got your robot suit on. Sit up. No, I screwed myself to you. Oh, you built in to me, did you? Yeah. Okay, next. You're too weak to fight me. Captain Spirit is here! So that's the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. It's kind of like a story game, kind of like the Minecraft Telltale games that we played a little bit, where you kind of have to choose things and look, explore areas and make decisions on how to get past it. Yeah. Um, and it's free. So we could go play it now. Not now, because we're we're, this is Let's Chat, not play. Yeah, don't play! But what do you think of that? Does that look like an interesting story to you? Something you're interested in? Mm, yeah. But. You don't want to look into like a superhero kid, should be a superhero? A little bit? Uh, kind of. Yeah, okay. A little bit. Next.
Let's rock and roll, boys. Yes, rock and roll. So this is Star Fox. You played this on the Super Nintendo. Um, yeah, mini. I haven't played it, but I've seen it. Yeah, it's so th this is a game that's on all consoles, but I think we'll get it on the Switch because on the Switch you get Star Fox's ship. And what it is, you play in the game like this, and you fly around the space, but you actually get the, tor the spaceships that go on your controller, and you can take off the weapons and add new ones on, and they change in the game. So that's what I mean. It's kind of like Skylanders, where you change this to a real toy, but it changes the. But then it's a. It's a, like No Man's Sky because you fly around in space. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, that one's yeah, pretty good. Um. I'm pretty excited about the, it looks pretty cool, and I want to get the Star Fox ship. Yeah. So if you get on PlayStation and Xbox, it's a different ship than you get when you when you get it for the Nintendo Switch. So that's why I'd like to get it for the Switch, because it's the unique, that, that real cool triangle looking ship, the look of the yeah. sharp angles. And you get a little mini Star Fox figure, <laughs> and you get different weapons that you can click onto it. It's pretty cool. I saw you smile when watching that trailer. Yeah. Do you want to be Spider-Man? It's pretty cool, eh? We get a, you get to be a Superman, a superhero. Yes. And the gameplay and the action looks through. That takedown he does through those that truck, you, we saw it once in the truck where he kicks Spider-Man like grabs spider webs, whoosh, flicks through the, the, the truck, kicks the dude out the other side, and he did it on a car as well. That's a pretty slick trick. Yeah. Do you want to be Spider-Man swinging through New York City? Quite a bit. Yeah. Game looks like a lot of fun. The combat looks entertaining. I, I'm a huge fan of Spider Man. I really like Spider Man. He's yeah. always been my favorite. I used to climb around like Spider Man all the time. I was climbing everything when I was younger. You my friends called me Spider Man. I went to my school dance dressed as Spider Man. <laughs> So that was Tunic. What do you think of that one? Well, very cute. It is very cute. It, do you remember the game we played Link to the Past? You played a little bit of it. We fought the first boss. It's the top-down Zelda, the really old Zelda. And you charge up your sword. That's what this game is based on, and in a uh, homage to, but it's like a cute little fox. And he wears a cute little tunic. Da. And I think it's cute. I think we're going to get it. And I think it'll be a fun adventure to play maybe separately. But then we may not, and we can then we can talk about the adventures we go on together yeah. in videos like this. Yeah. So, did you have a favorite of any of those videos that you saw, game? I lost track of most of them. You lost track. Yeah. That's okay. There is a lot to take in, and that was just a small portion of E3. I I cherry pick ones I thought you would like most, and I'm pretty happy with the response that you gave. I'm, I think you liked all of them. Yeah. There's ones I didn't show you. There's a new From Software game. Uh, with Dark Souls people who make Dark Souls, but it was a little bit violent, so I don't want to show you it just yet. Um, which I'm excited about though, and it's called Sekiro. There's a go another samurai game called Ghost of Su uh, Tsushima, which I'm also excited about. <laughs> uh, and there's many more, but yeah, we've got lots of games to be playing in the next year, that's for sure. I've made a list, there's about 10 games I've got in the next 7 months that I want to buy. So you better start, you better go get a job, Odin, to pay for them all. Odin, can you send us out with a farewell? Well, if you enjoy, let's chat. Not play. Not play. Don't play, Daddy. No. Why not? Because it's let's chat, not play. All right, we'll play in between the chats. How about that? Yeah, that's a really, very good idea. So we have more things to chat about. Yeah. Okay. Okay, back to this. Okay. If you, if you enjoyed it, then like, subscribe, and watch again. See you then.